Hey guys, your boy MKS and welcome back to another episode of On The Couch. Today, we have a very special guest with me. Mm. It's my captain, my leader, my legend. It's my boy Kevin. Chat to them, man. How you feeling today, bro? Hey, we say, man. I'm good, man. Listen, it's an honour to be here, bro. Mm -hmm. When you told me about you starting off this podcast, I was interested and you was you sent it on your story. Whoever wants to be on your podcast, shout. I was excited, bro. I had mm. to get that message out there, bro. Even watching last episode as well, that was legendary, bro. Having Sammy, Jason. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You were yeah. touching on some good topics, good debates. And I was like, nah, yeah, that's something I want to be a part of, man. Just to experience and get that exposure in it. So, so yeah, I'm glad to be here, man. Welcome, welcome, mm. welcome to the couch. Obviously, it's a bit of a different setting today because we didn't mm. able to get a second camera. But I was able to make it work on the couch. And obviously, before we get into the proceedings of today... Um, I've got a fellow Jersey man here to talk to me about man, really Jersey know, man. We're in the Jersey on today, innit? West Ham. The West Ham, I like that one though. Oh, uh, it's a serious one. Yeah. Obviously, I can't wear West Ham's tin car. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Let's not get into it if we get cancelled. Sure. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey. But yeah, today we've got the um, mm. third kit for Chelsea. Um, mm -hmm. Story behind this one. When it first released, I ordered it straight away. But after that, let me just wait for it to go and sell, innit? But um, over Christmas period, Chelsea won a promotion. They were doing some Christmas gifts today. Yeah, yeah. So they said that, oh, if you come to Stamford Bridge today and come to the mega store, you can get yourself a shirt and a free uh, name. Give it! So on the back of it, obviously, we've got mm. Mike um, Thiago Silva, one of the all time great Brazilian legends. Mm -hmm. So I've got the name, Seriously, number, right. the Prem badge on the side, and also, I had to get it this year because. World champions. Now you went in, you got all the badges and everything, say, all the champions. extras. Listen, <laughs> see, when it comes to sports, I do a world championships, you get me? Mm -hmm. Lewis Hamilton, Chelsea, Arsenal, I don't know why I'm going for their world Listen, championship. I don't no know. Comment, no where, comment. Where's their ring? They ain't got a ring. They ain't got a ring. What about that? No comment, man. Where's, where's, where's uh, listen, many rings in the past five years, bro. Listen. Bro, where's, where's, the, where's the world championship? Huh? This year, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll see us in the final. You'll see us in the final. Oh, man. But yeah, man, let's get into it, bro. So. Obviously, I want to talk to you. You, you did a um, TikTok, right? Yeah, the yeah. Oh, man. Talk to the people about that. Let them know what it's about. Well, of course, I do like uh, motivational talks on TikTok. Talks with Kev150. Make sure you check that out. No, nah, honestly, check it out for real. Check mm -hmm. it out. But yeah, man, just the inspiration. Like, I've always known that I've had this gift where I can inspire people through my actions, through my words, innit? That's why so you're I just, captain. So I just thought, why not put this out there, innit? Share mm -hmm. my gift to the world, innit? So I was thinking, like, I had this idea back in like September, August, I was thinking, now nah, let me wait till 2023 to officially push it out there to get yeah. started. But no, someone was telling me, nah, if you have this full idea in your head, execute, execute now, yeah. execute now. So I set up the page, I set up the schedule. So I send out the video on Monday, but I record on Wednesday. Of course, the consistency wasn't there, but I'm starting to pick it back up. So yeah. every Wednesday, I decide to record two videos, have them saved in my draft. And then Monday, I push it out. So it's there for throughout the whole week. The start of the week, you're inspired, you're motivated, it and then going. gets you going in it. So yeah. I, uh, each week, I, I uh, focus on a new topic. So that's it, man. It's just the idea in my head. I was like, nah, I, had to, I have to get this out there. It's a gift where I have. I just inspire people, motivate people, and just get people going in it to be better and do better. So nah, for yeah, it's, not, it's not easy, man. Like, mm -hmm. Bro, getting, getting yourself literally off your ass and getting to work is, bro, for sure, it's bro. tough, man. Like, even getting this started. Yeah, for sure, bro. I did say I want to start in January, but January came around and didn't start. It was only up until February, and even then, Nathan remembered remember, we recorded one episode, mm. I think for like two weeks we didn't record. Two weeks, mm. yeah. For two weeks we didn't record, so yeah, the first yeah. episode was actually like quite old. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we just we just started with that, but now, kind of picking up consistency. Oh, yeah. We've got a few guests lined up That's for it. like the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're, we're building, man. We're just going to get it, started. Man. As long as you have started and you have that courage to execute, then mm. yeah, man, the sky's the limit, bro. Just well, keep doing your thing. Honestly, the sky's the, the limit, bro. I rate this thing what you're doing, bro, because it takes a lot of courage to start off a podcast. And yeah, just talk, talk show, talk. we're not like that. Oh, talk show? Ah, oh, oh, come on, listen. Because you, you see these podcasts yeah, here yeah. where they're talking about if I was homeless, I, I wouldn't beg for money, I'd beg for books. <laughs> talking about, ah, oh, the guy's bad because he didn't. That's a unique selling point right there. That's talk it. show. This ain't a podcast. This is a talk show. That's it. Get to know. Make sure you follow, like, and subscribe. Come on. In fact, yeah, no, thank you. You know what? Let's give them about five seconds to, to do so. Make sure you like it, subscribe, and click that notification notification button in. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Listen, Captain Leader Legend Kevin is telling you that. So mm -hmm. if he's telling you, you know it's real. Because <laughs> Kevin has to subscribe to everything. It's true. So if you're saying subscribe to my channel, he means it. Mm. 
All right, let's continue. So obviously, as you can see on my shirt, obviously Hugo, that's the um, the name of Loyal Kana's most recent album. Mm -hmm. I was at his show last night. Yeah. So Sammy actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted yeah. to get Sammy on the show today, but couldn't make it. Yeah, logistics okay. and work and them kind of things got in the way of it. But bro, we'll see. Yeah. Oh my god. I never thought I could go through so many emotions within the space of an hour. Mm. Like there was motivation, there was like feeling of sadness, mm. like joy. Like it was just emotionally it was overwhelming because each like he's a storyteller. Yeah, yeah. And like he has a good way of conveying his emotions to you through music. Okay. Because like he's talking about there's a song called Homerton, which is dedicated to his son that was born during lockdown. Um, he was born at Homerton Hospital. Mm. He's got a song he's got a song called HGU. Which like the last three letters of his dad's car's registration number, okay. and that's the car that he learned to drive in. So through his music, he's just painting pictures in your mind, like, telling stories, bro. Okay, like genuinely, yeah. Like when the songs like roll emotion, like you really feel it. Mm. So there was hype as well, because you know you know you brought Nux. Yeah, Nux came out. He's got a tune of Nux. They performed uh, that. Oh, bro, that, that moment there. Hey, I know you was you. I peak, that, like, peak. Black man in Kazakhstan. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nah, that's sick, man. That's bro, sick. I lost it, man. But mm. there was something even more special, and I know you'd love it, bro. Mm. Lord Duck was there. No way. Lord Duck was there, bro. In the concert. I promise you, Lord Duck. Was in there. London, this guy bro, doesn't even I come London, bro. I promise you, Lord Duck was what? there, bro. Let me call, call Sammy because I know I showed I showed Nathan. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. seen the clip? I showed Nathan. Bro. Lord magic. Duck was there, bro. What? That's yeah, a yeah. massive surprise. Let me, see, bro. let me see if I can call Sammy right now. After all he's going through with his girl as well. Bro, Lord Duck was there. Crazy. I promise you. Oh, no, pick up now. I think he just caught. Declined it. <laughs> you want me to call him? Let me check. Yeah, no, you call him. See if it's you. No what call. songs was he playing? You see, I don't listen to the oh, other, so I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. he was, it was there. He was he there was on stage. Bro, spit. Let's like spit him, bro. We find this guy. That's mad, bro. That's random, though. Bro, that's out of nowhere. You see <laughs> bro, <laughs> Lil Duck was not supposed to be there, but um, mm. like for some reason he was there. Eee. He's busy, he's busy. Let me try one more time. He might be interviewing Jack Bullshit right now. Oh, is it? Yeah, he's on Arsenal. Yeah, he's probably yeah, he's interviewing Jack Bullshit at the moment. Yeah, nice but yeah, bro, it was, it was insane. And also, actually, no, I didn't know even say too much about that one, but I've got yeah. a regent there who plugged my team nicely. Oh, is it? Yeah, so okay. shout out to my man. Mm -hmm. um, you got that VIP special treatment or that part yeah. of the package. But you know what I do, man. You know what I do, bro. You know, you know, you know who I am, bro. Yeah, go Real MKS. Get bro, to it's know. Not, it's not a joke. You get it's me? not a joke. If you don't man. know me, then get to know me. Get to that know him. Right next to Kobe. Mm -hmm. mm, listen to the bars, <laughs> bro. The flow, the delivery. Listen. I'll text Skeppy, fan. That's my listen. guy. Hey, yo, Skeppy, if you want to come on the couch, bro, feel free. In it. Yeah, you got man. a space but, right here, bro. There's a space right here. There's a space for you on the couch, man. Alright. But um, what's it called? A topic came out um, last week. Someone asked me a question. Mm -hmm. So basically, we recorded last week, right? Yeah, Episodes yeah, coming yeah. out today. So as we're talking right now, we're working on the upload. Okay. Um, they were talking about mental health in men, mm. and I was like, when they asked me, I was like, you know what? I know Kevin's gonna be here next week. Let me talk with him about that because when man. it comes to love, bro, Kevin's the guy. You know? Listen, get your like, mind right. Genuinely, yeah. Uh, get your mind bro, right. Bro, Kevin's like one of the few men that on a random would just be like, yo, G, how are your mentals? Like, out of the out blue. Out of nowhere, man. And Save it's a nice people. thing. So, like, talk to me, like, mm -hmm. how do you view mental health in men? In men, well, of course. It's not really talked about. Mm. Now, recently, you see how people are doing all these campaigns like Harry Kane, all these, all these like, celebrities, influencers, they're taking it seriously, innit? it? Because... Yeah they've realised, oh, it's a priority. But in general, it's your health. Mm. It's a part of your health. No, it is. It is a significant so, part. If you're not focused on looking after it, if you're not focused on taking care of it, then what does mm. that mean? Like, you're basically disrupting your life, you're destroying your life, innit? So, right. mental health is important. But as I said before, it's not really a priority that like, people don't really care about, innit? Mm -hmm. So what, I, what my message to people is focus on it. Focus on improving your mental health. Focus on looking after it. Focus on taking care of it. Because ultimately, it's you and yourself. Mm. It's no one else. It's you and yourself. Yeah, no, no so one, if no this one is, is not right, right, this is not going to react. Right. If your mental is not right, your body is not going to be right. So no, make sure true. that mental is right. Your mindset, how you think, how you move, how you act, yeah. your habits, what you do, what you, what you think of, your thoughts. If that's not right, then the body's not going to be right, in it? So make sure you look after your mental health. Yeah, no, it's a real thing. God, it's mm. got to take part of it. But like... 
taking care of yourself is always important well, because like at the end of the day you are the person that knows yourself best mm-hmm. like you can say oh my mom, mom knows me like she's been my whole life but mm-hmm. your mom knows you probably the best out ever in the world yeah yeah but she doesn't know you better than you because there are parts mm-hmm. of you that your mother won't see mm-hmm. so like really and truly take time for yourself and take care of yourself please That's it, man. because if you don't it's it's not gonna it just please take care of yourself That's and it. also like if something comes up talk to somebody about it. don't feel embarrassed mm. and maybe a question for yourself is that like if you feel like you want to talk to somebody about so, oh, something's going on and you feel like you can't talk to any of your people about it mm. then maybe it might be time to start considering how you view these people for sure because if you feel like you're going to bring up something up to them and they'll just take a make a mockery of you they're not really the people you want to be keeping around in your life yeah, exactly. because mm. like as much as yeah they're your friends you have fun with them at mm. the end of the day they're also your support system for sure it's touching on that you should also feel like you you have like a safe space to talk about things exactly. to open up to communicate in it yeah. if you ain't got that safe space then who are you going to talk to exactly you, got, you need you that safe space you need that calm environment that you have supportive people that can relate to what you're going through mm-hmm. or if not they can listen to you they can understand they can understand what you're going through and they maybe they can help you yeah. or they can uh, get people to help you so they can put you in the right direction for people to help you and yeah. how you can get better in it yeah like, nah. everyone needs healing bro especially black people and, mm. and our, our family our community is just mm. like we need help we need like we need serious healing in it because of what we've been through in the past for our parents for our yeah. generations etc but you yeah, know as a young black man trust mm, me it's exactly easy, man it's because even easy. then like like say you're a child of migrant workers yeah oh sorry like yeah that have come from another mm-hmm. country, another land. They've come here, they've done all they can to give you a good life, and now you kind of have to use that and try and build it further. For sure. So that your kids don't have to maybe live in the conditions you might have had to live in when mm-hmm. you were a child, or like maybe see their friend walking down the street with a shoe and then they're looking at their thing as comfortable exactly, feeder. Bro. You get me? Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with comfortable feeder, though. You get me? Listen, bro. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted, bro. Yeah. Like Last that, episode, you was touching a Reebok. Bro. Listen, I was Reebok. locked in. Listen, let me Reebok tell you something. Comfy. You see my comfortable feeder, yeah? Black and blue. Oh. Both coloured laces. Yeah. <laughs> Bad break red. See you that combo me? there? Black and blue. Yeah. Serious bro. combo. When I said to some those ones, yeah, playing basketball, I took it to Michael Jordan. Yeah. On a serious team. <laughs> No one can stop me in the paint. When he touched the court, it's over. It was raps. You see when you, you see when you got the ball by your yeah. side? Well, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I got next. I got yeah. next. <laughs> it's over. You might as well leave the park. You know what I mean? You might Listen, as well leave the park. Don't play about with me and my comfortable mm-hmm. feeder, fam. But yeah, coming back to the topic. Um, mm. Say like someone's in a state where like their mood is always down. Mm. What would you advise them to do to potentially navigate that kind of situation? If their mood is always down, I mean, everyone's got something we enjoy. Find something you enjoy. Find something you love doing and just keep doing that. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're always down, I know there's something that you love doing, whether that's playing FIFA, mm. going outside. I don't know if FIFA's the one store. Huh? That one <laughs> <laughs> oh no FIFA yeah, no 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 <laughs> if it's career mode innit or something oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah if yeah, it's yeah. something you like doing going to the park playing outside just do it man because I'm telling you right now the more you do that the more your mood will get better yeah if it's not something you like doing then find someone you enjoy talking to talk to a family friend talk to a friend call someone up that you ain't talked to in time and just you know, hopefully they can uplift you you never know it's the reason your mood is always low is because you're not doing nothing. You're staying in the same place. You're complaining 24-7. That's mm, not going to change. If you complain, you, you stay the same. You're, like, you're not going to remove yourself from the situation if you stay the same. So the key is you have to move. You have to do something. You have yeah. to get up and go get it. You have to get up and go get better mm-hmm. if your mood is always the same, if it's always negative. Yeah. So you have to get up and move and do something. Because mm, you know what? One thing you said remind me of... Um and Jay Husper says mm. nothing like um, you're in the same spot you was in last year. Exactly. But the thing is, yeah, like obviously it can be difficult to always progress in life because mm-hmm. obviously there's restrictions around, and you know now there's a cost of living, it's yeah, put yeah. Uh, impact on how much people can progress. But what you're saying is right. You can't, you know, effectively you can't watch a film mm-hmm. ten times and expect exactly. the second time you're watching it the end, the for you to get better. It's it's, it's, it's going to be the same thing. Exactly. So you need to like actively do something about it because mm-hmm. like if you just sit around and do nothing and then just like stuff your face with a bowl of ice cream mm-hmm. well, obviously it's not going to get better or if you just sit down or just you know just drink 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 yeah, drink yeah, yeah. it's not it's not going to get better exactly the thing is yeah bro 
what it is is um they they don't have that courage no no what they think what people think is they're gonna get handouts something mm. magical is gonna happen or something if i watch this film as you said i'm gonna pick up something from the movie and i'm gonna execute no nothing's gonna happen no mm. one's gonna come and save you you have to come and save yourself you have to be the one to have that courage inside of you to get up and be like no i can't be like this forever i can't be in the same state for a long time mm -hmm. i need to get up and actively do something for my mood to change yeah you have to find that courage and that desire in you to do something about it yeah, or you're going to stay the same yeah no god doesn't bless idle hands exactly that's bro. one thing mommy always mm, told me amen. From me yes god doesn't god don't bless idle hands so for sure you gotta do something about it mm -hmm. and you know what? it could be anything it could be finding a new sport to enjoy mm. um what's it called playing a new sport playing a new sport um Going gym, going bro. Gym, going bro. gym does something. Obviously, exactly. you can talk about myself. I haven't been in a while. Hey, we'll get into that. Don't worry. We'll get into that. No, Gaffer's been in the gym. We'll I haven't, get into I haven't, that. I haven't been in a while, but it, you know, but the period of time when I was going, genuinely, genuinely, is good. And yeah, also, yeah. another key thing, bro. You see, sleep. Sleep does wonders, bro. Listen. We'll get into that. We'll, uh, when you're t before, yeah, I used to have a terrible sleep schedule. I used to sleep for like five hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hated my life. Yeah. But now I've taken a new, a new thing where I don't stay up after midnight unless I'm like already outside. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I'm already home, why am I up after midnight? Because I've realized like I was looking back at my life and I was like. Every time I've been up after midnight, mm. I don't do anything significant. Exactly. Maybe one or two times where I might be passionate. Yeah. Say if you're working on work. an assignment or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. That's, that's understandable. Other times that like, I've just sat there, I'm just on Instagram or I'm on YouTube mm. or I'm just mucking about on FIFA, not even doing anything. I'm mm. not even enjoying myself playing the game. I'm just yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've started doing this thing where I'm in bed by midnight. And like, I've seen a change. Like, now I'm in a state where I'm more energized than ever. I'm happier than ever. Mm. Like I'm more sharp as well. More active, exactly. Like, your brain's active. awake, innit? Your so like, awake. honestly, invest in your sleep. Like, if you have to wake up at six a.m., go to bed at nine thirty. Mm. And not, and not not ten. No, nine thirty, so that you're mm. asleep by ten, and then you're up at six. You get your eight hours. That's it. Yeah. So those kind of things as well. You, you exactly. Really bro. Touching on sleep. Sleep is so important, bro. Mm. Sleeping. Like, like I read this stat in it. Uh, lack of sleep decreases your impulse by 49%. Oh, what? 49%. And you know what impulse is? Your ability, your ability to make decisions, to do, stuff, yeah, to do yeah, things, yeah, yeah. to get up and go get in it. So if you're not sleeping, For real? your impulse is going to be low and then wow. you're going you're gonna to be, you're gonna be uh, making bad decisions, mm. picking up bad habits, etc. That's why sleep is so important. And it's, as you said, waking up early. When you wake up early, you feel energised. Yeah, you don't want to get out of bed, but once you get out of bed, See how you feel. You feel yeah. so much energized. It's real, it's real. Because even what one time, I think this must have been the first year of uni, um, I was doing some work. Over and Gordon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, it was do I was doing some work and then um, it was deadline day, innit? Yeah. And I was so tired. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to bed. This must have been, I must have been like 9 p.m. I went to bed at mm -hmm. 9. Woke up at like 6 or around half 5, 6, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Got to work. Bro, when I told you I was done with the work by 8, and mm. I was like, okay, I've done with the work. And I'm like, oh my days, it's eight. There's a whole day. A whole day, bro. Like, there's whole so day. many hours now. Exactly, bro. But then compared to when I was going to bed at two, waking up at 10, out of my at 12, all the day's done. Like, yeah. there's only a few hours left in the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going through, bro. That's, like, one of my biggest downfalls is my sleep, innit? Yeah. Like, my sleep, I used to go to bed at, like, 4 a.m., 3 a.m., 2 a.m., wake up at 11, 12. Like, what I want to do is wake up at 6 a.m., go gym, come back, I have my whole day ahead of me whole to do day. as many tasks as I want. And then when it gets to like six, seven, I can enjoy some downtime, watch some football, mm -hmm. uh, listen to a podcast, listen to the real MKS talk show on the couch. On the couch. Come on, bro. On the couch. But yeah, like, you've got so much time. As you said, once you wake up early, once you do what you need to do, you've got so much time ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Like you've, you finished work, you came home at eight, you still got time okay. to chill, still to do so more work, much time. to plan. That's why sleeping is so important it's so key for your mental health your body in general and yeah. it's got long-term effects long-term consequences if you're sleep if, you sleep if you're sleeping late waking up late yeah so my message to you look go to bed early wake up early and just watch the difference watch see and observe the difference that makes has it makes a stark, stark, stark difference because exactly because even then like, i saw some video um 
but saying you have 24 hours in a day mm. for eight of those are sleeping so you have 60 you have 16 hours mm-hmm. and then what is it like another eight hours you're working mm. so then it goes down to eight hours in general and then oh wait you're traveling to work and traveling home from work so that's about say average two hours average two that's hours. another two hours. so now you've got six hours then say, oh, you want to watch your TV show or something. That's about, what, two, three hours? Because you're going to binge watch, like, three or four exactly. episodes. Maybe you're, when you get home, you're showering, eating, yeah, yeah. And, and watching your show. That's another, what, three hours gone. And now you've actually got three hours. And that's even factored in you're getting ready in the morning. So mm-hmm. maybe that's another hour, too. Exactly. You know, so that it mm-hmm. reduces a lot. And then say you're waking up at 10, you're going to feel lazy, and you've lost them two hours. Because mm-hmm. then you're going to get out of your bed at 12, and then... Even then, if you don't wake up on time, you're not going to feed yourself properly. If you don't eat properly, it affects your diet, your yeah, weight. Yeah, yeah. Big man, just sleep. Yeah, just sleep, there's man, no, it. there's not a lot of benefit. There's mm-hmm. a lot more benefits to sleeping early than there are to sleeping late. For sure, like sleep is what sleep is like the catalyst for you to build your routines, mm-hmm. building good habits, building that discipline, building that consistency. Sleep is the start. Once you once you pattern your sleep, once you get your sleep correct, every, everything else will align. Yeah, everything everything else will just fall into place mm-hmm. because your sleep is on point. That's it. Mm-hmm. And then one last thing I wanted to touch on when it comes to men's mental health or like mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before we talk about the uh, gym. <laughs> hey, gym has a big part of this. Oh, it does, it does, gym it does. has a big part um, of this. One thing I want to talk about, I think one more thing that for me I noticed has a massive impact. Um, it's going to sound a bit moist. A bit yeah. moist yeah, <laughs> it's calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say that, bro. Yeah, true, true, true. There's nothing moist. There's nothing My cool, bro. My like, bad. You, you just being yourself, it's cool. Mm-hmm. You know One thing mean? it was um, for me it was like a positive mindset or like the power of positivity. Because mm. now I want to relate it to a story I have, first story I have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was a period of time in my life, yeah. Where I was catching feelings like nothing, hey. bro. I can see it now, and yeah, I'm yeah. already planning the wedding. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm saying that. See I'm me, yeah. Enough. Listen, I was not lover boy thing. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. not lover boy thing before Drake even made the album. Mm. Yeah, so it must have been like early college time now, and like there was this one girl that I was talking to, and yeah, bro, she was nice though. Mm. And she caught, caught, mm. caught, caught them feeling straight, bro. After like what a day or two, I'll say it now because I don't even know who she is. I don't, I don't think she knows me either. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I caught feelings for two days, bro. Quick one, and then at, at, like for fingers though. I was young in this, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You just discovered yeah. these emotions. Learning, bro. But it was bad. Like, it was, it was you know, bad. I, I, okay. I caught myself and I was like, hold on. Surely this shouldn't be happening so fast. Bro, you just met her two days and you're planning the wedding. You, you yeah, didn't see it. See. And I realized, and I started looking at, I started looking at, like, what's going on? Mm. And I started looking around myself and I was like, hold on. I took a second to look at my playlist. And I'm like, hold on. There's Drake talking about love. There's this person talking about love. Mm-hmm. There's an Afrobeats artist talking about love. Mm-hmm. So this is what's going on. Yeah. Everywhere I turn when it came to music, whether it be rap, just singing, R and B, Afrobeats, all the genres, any genre you can imagine. Not the Spanish thing though. Yeah. Car. I don't know that one. I don't understand mm-hmm. Spanish. You get me? Mm-hmm. I'm not like the, you see that man that be like listening to Spanish music. So yeah, when they yeah. get uh, <laughs> the, the Latino <laughs> news, yeah, they'll be like, oh yeah, man knows the Spanish. Yeah, no, yeah, listen, yeah, I don't know Bad Bunny. Yeah, yeah. Jay Balvin, I swear he's on a skeptitude. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> so all the knowledge you can yeah, think yeah. of, yeah, that I can understand. Mm-hmm. They all had love related themes. So then I said, cool, I'm going to change this. So I cut them all out and I replaced them with the music I was listening to when I was growing up living with my cousins and talking, yeah, so yeah. the grime lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Grime radios, you know, JME, a skeptic, mm-hmm. a Frisco, yeah. Wiley, them man. I was Kano, that's locked what in, I was bro. wondering. Was I was locked in. <laughs> and when that started happening, I noticed I slowed down. Because mm-hmm. that's what isn't what I was putting into my brain. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. moved away from it. Then after a while, I started to notice that I started walking with a certain swagger that was a bit... You can't step to me. Jeez! Okay. Walking with a different type of confidence. Bro, I was going with a different type of confidence, but like, I realised that and some people looked at me and they thought I was intimidated. I'm like, what, bro? Like, mm-hmm. I'm calm, what the hell? And I realised, hold on, the music I'm listening to you, and it's affecting how I'm walking around. Yeah. So then that's when I transitioned into my current phase of music now, where I'm on my chill selections. Okay. So I'm on my Thundercat, yeah, my Loyal yeah. Kana, my Nuts, my Addison Pack. Mm. And now I'm just like, so laid back with yeah, yeah, yeah. and maybe at times it doesn't help because obviously when it comes to going to gym I'm like oh, let's go gym and then in my ear all I'm hearing is oh, what can we do <laughs> like <laughs> that's, that's all I'm hearing <laughs> so I uh, think on that case it doesn't necessarily help but obviously you have different music for different things no, now. No. and um, yeah that's what I was going to bring on I was talking on does what we consume 
affect how much would you say the stuff we consume in our day to days, whether it be on social media, music, TV, yeah, yeah. film, how much would that affect? How much can that affect our mental health? A lot. It does. What you consume, you are. Yeah. Literally, what you listen to, like re- touching on music. As you said, you was listening to all that love, all that love, hearing different genres, you're still listening to love. Mm. That affected the way you think, mm-hmm. the way you think about girls. Like, you see a girl, she's laying, she, you're attracted to her, mm. let me plan a wedding, you know what I mean? <laughs> <coughs> but that, that's because of the music you listen disclaimer, to. I'm not like that anymore. Oh, no, nah, hey, relax. Yeah. change, man. Come on. Retired, not, first not, of all, retired. Mm-hmm. Second of all, when the comeback is on, I'm not like that. Yeah, yeah, let yeah. me calm down. Just a good disclaimer. Okay. Continue. That's a wrong. different man. Elevated man. Elevated man. <laughs> but yeah, everything you consume, does play a massive part on your mental health and how you move how you act how you think Mm -hmm. like the music you listen to even me as well I cut out like secular music like you know listening to Dirk and that like oh you don't want to talk like that no more no I used to innit but not that much because when you listen to their lyrics deep what he's saying it's a madness it is it's a madness all they're talking about is drugs come on bro you're not trying to hear that especially when you're in the gym Mm. are you trying to hear about drugs in the gym that's what happens to John Moran is that bro John Moran Ja. We're, we're touching that, don't we're right, touching we're touching that. Um, what was I saying? Like everything you do is, as social media, like you see when you go on social media, what do you see? Negative content. You know what? Nah, I was gonna say like Bro. you see the TikTok thing. Yeah, yeah. It's good for like the stuff you yeah, make. Yeah, for sure. Other stuff, it matching up people because like I don't have TikTok in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I'm probably gonna start one because of this. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm seeing other people's TikTok feeds, bro. There's Bro, there's literally perfect women. Literally. Like, girls with a perfect look. Like, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. realistic at all. Mm-hmm. It's like, if you were going to draw what a perfect woman would look like, that's what she has. And I'm seeing young, impressionable girls mm-hmm. seeing that on their feet, thinking, oh, my days, I'm ugly. Thinking they can be like that. Exactly. You know I mean? It ruins their ego. It exactly. And their I'm ego. seeing another person flexing their private jet, their private yacht. Mm-hmm. Look at my yard. Look at my car. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, these things are only really attainable by the 1%. Exactly. But now you've got... I don't know, Gary who lives in a council flat, Mm -hmm. you've got his son or daughter seeing that on social media thinking that their life is terrible. Every Every day, day. day. you're seeing about 50 of them videos within what? Two, three minutes. Two, three minutes, bro. You're seeing 50 of them all in your brain and then they're going to make you think all my days and you take your phone down, look at your room, it's like a two bed flat and you're thinking, what? Nah, this isn't it. Oh, my life is so rubbish. And then from there, that's how you go down. That's good. But um, what was I going to say was um, social media, bro, they're pushing out. Like, for you to go viral, you have to do something negative. Mm. We could, like, I'm going to touch on a video. Remember that video of that girl that walked into the Uniacom and she put hot kettle on that? Is, is that not negative? That was, Did that not go viral? See, I, that was honestly so oh, bad. It's peak, isn't it? Like, it's so sad to yeah, see things like that. Yeah. Those are the things that's going viral. Yeah. Negative content. Social media that was is horrendous. pushing out negative content. Like, you don't really see positive news like that really on your positive, feed yeah, you really unless you positive follow things. positive things yeah. like if you follow sports mm-hmm. if you follow like there's this channel called on Instagram your positive news like I follow that in it so that's always on my feed mm-hmm. but social media plays a big part in mental health and just it has damaged so many children so many youth so many young people's mental health because all it does is just push out negative media mm-hmm. negative like, that's how you get viral, bro. Yeah. You have to do something negative for you to get viral. Yeah, and even Literally. then, I was going to mention, um, with social media, it's either something that is negative that gets the most traction, or when you're seeing something like someone posting something nice to themselves, yeah. it is the best of the best of the best. Bro. Like, my recent Instagram post, at the William Curse, check the Instagram. Check it. Um, my recent post when I was at mm. Silverstone. When I was going through the post of what to yeah, post, yeah. brother, do you know how long it took me? <laughs> brother, it... It took me days mm-hmm. to, to finally pick out the 10 best clips yeah, yeah. or pictures or images or videos that I wanted to put out there. Bro, that's me putting out the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. There mm-hmm. are some howler images, <laughs> yeah. Still on my phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah some honkers. Honkers, yeah, 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 The hair yeah. looking a bit, you know what I'm saying? Just had your money, you get me? <laughs> Half pots. <laughs> Yeah, they're somewhere mm-hmm. the belay looking a bit more belay belay than hey. usual. You get me? I did a post toast. So listen. Go reset. I cool 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 cool. <laughs> what the hell I was doing? Oh, one kid. It movie. was. Yeah. <laughs> Should I clap again? What's that? Should I clap again? Yeah. Cheers. Cool. Um, yeah, so there's somewhere we're doing Sadio Mane. Half courts. Hey. You get me? But some. What? 
question to you. Why, why, why are you not going to post that? Why are you not going to post that? You can't let the mummy see that. You see? Oh, you see? That's what I said. You've you got to put your you best see? foot forward on That's the reason. Bro. Yeah, I understand. Like, come on. You have to put your best self out there. Like, mm. your best image. Like, even me as well. Like, I'm... I'm, when I post a picture, I want to make sure I'm looking, looking 10, 10 everything. I'm looking crisp, the trim's done up well. <laughs> because you want people to see you're yes. doing well, wouldn't it? Like, mm -hmm. But then again, like, that's the thing where, like, why do we people do that? Like, why don't you just put a normal picture of your hairline going wonky wonky? Yeah. But that's just you at your normal, normal state, innit? See, but see, that's the thing, right? Whenever you're like trying to approach somebody, whether it be someone to network with, yeah, or even yeah, trying yeah. to approach a exactly, potential love interest, bro. you're not going to approach them in your no one's gonna see me fit. You're gonna get you're gonna get the cargoes, the jeans, mm. you're, gonna the you're gonna get that that that, that expensive hoodie you got, the perfume and thing. Mm -hmm. It's what you're gonna do in real life. So if that's gonna happen in real life, it's gonna happen even more mm -hmm. on, on social media. Like even what's it called? Remember we did drip game stuff. Oh, like yeah, jersey yeah, pictures. Yeah. Listen, eh? Hey. Yeah. When we were, when we were doing jersey pictures, yeah. Bro, there were some other pictures I had, yeah. There's a whole jersey there's another two jerseys for pictures I've taken pictures yeah, from. Yeah. I don't like the way I look at them. I'm not posting. Mm -hmm. We we'll have to redo that. Of it's how it is. That's how so it is, that's always going to happen. But you were talking on sport, even sports news being positive, but there's some negative ones. Oh, of course. Like Tov Tovsky, oh. as you call him, or <laughs> Demetrius. <laughs> yeah. Jama Rap. Hey. Listen. Hey, I heard he went to what school? That's a private school. <laughs> 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 what school did he go to? Hey. Oh. Oh, oh, right. Listen. Man. So those that don't know, there's a young player called Jama Rap. I love Sorry to cut you off, bro. Just a uh, thought came on my head, innit? Like, just touching on the social yeah, media yeah, thing, yeah, innit? Like, just to end on this, innit? Like, mm -hmm. In society, like, f the phone, the phone, the iPads, it's all man made. We created that, but mm -hmm. now it creates us. So for you to break out of that matrix, you need to flip the script and control your phone, control your feed, mm -hmm. control what you see on a daily basis, and control what you consume, innit? But that's just the last point, innit? We can talk about the sports. No, I like that. Let that mm -hmm. one sink in for a second, fam. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Mm. I like that one. Yeah. Now, big up. Hey, Kavu. Kavu, Kavu. The game is there. All right. But now let's talk about Demetrius Tovsky, John Morant. <laughs> Listen. All right. So those that don't know, John Morant is a basketball player who got drafted <clears throat> to the league a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Young player. Let me just put this out there. Play style, for me, John Morant's one of my Cold. favorite players. Cold, bro. bro. He is literally the second coming of Derek Cold. Derek I got Cross. the jersey, bro. Got the, that jersey, that white jersey, that yeah. method. Cold, bro. Cold. Listen, Jar, Jar's a great player, man. Mm -hmm. But recently, I guess you can say he's been meddling with the wrong group, For maybe sure, consuming man. the wrong content. That's what it is. And like, there was a clip of him in a strip club, you know, flexing around with a gun. Mm -hmm. And once this came out, this was amongst a whole other bunch of stories. For like a whole two months. Two months of just was, him. There was, picture, there was stories about him with um, a laser sight on a gun, yeah, putting yeah, yeah, another yeah. team's um, another team's bus. But bro, that's what happens. Like once you do one bad thing, like the media highlights, exactly. they will find they a hundred things to pin on you. There's, that's there's related about him exactly. potentially shooting a kid when they were playing basketball when they were younger. Mm. Him saying that uh, what's it called? He was looking for an employee that was talking about his mum or something. There's mm. a whole load of things that went on with Jar, mm. and um, it's got to the point where he's now in rehab. I think he's done rehab already. Mm -hmm. Bro, he was on rehab on Monday. Oh, said he's did out you see the video Wednesday. of him doing the interview? No, I haven't watched the, watch the full interview. Oh, cool, cool, I'll, I'll definitely get there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a whole lot, there's a whole lot going on with that. Just like, mm -hmm. What I want to say is that, do you feel like there's a, there's a thing amongst maybe athletes or stars, actors, rappers, anything. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like they try to put on a persona that can gain attention because one thing that's always looked good is gangsters. That's you it. see them with the big chain, big chain what, the Kango hat, all of that, yeah, man. The ice, is everything. everything, man. Do you feel like young people today, now when they come into lights or people of our age and yeah, stuff, yeah. when they get into the light, do you feel like they try and put on a persona that will make them feel like they're gangster, they're hood? 100%. To, them, to make them more popular, I guess. Mm -hmm, wonderful. Where it is, bro, athletes want to be rappers, rappers want to be athletes. That's what it is, bro. It's so real. A hundred percent, bro. So real. They want to put on this fake persona. Uh, like you see, even with ballers, they're hanging around with rappers. When they go to the nightclubs and that, who they're they hanging they're around with? The rappers. They're, they're with the rappers. They're with the ballers. They're with the pimps, etc. Because mm. they want to live that lifestyle. But that's not the lifestyle to go down, bro. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, Ja will learn from this. Hopefully he does. Isn't I, it, I really hope Hopefully. he does. I what really it is, yeah. Does. What I got from it, like I was late to this news, innit? Because yeah. I was. Me, yeah, I don't go on Instagram for a week. Like, I'm off Instagram, take some time off. But I, I got into this Jar Morant news late. Mm -hmm. So when I got onto it, I was like, my, my boys were telling me, hey, yo, Jar did this. I'm like, what? What's Ja 
Qatar do it in the club with a gun. I'm thinking you're NBA star, isn't it? Bro. But what I think what it is is the guidance. He ain't got that guidance. The mm. people, like the OGs, the uncles, like his dad showing him the right way, showing him how to build wealth, how to be like a serious NBA star, a serious yeah. NBA player. Like yeah. he, is, he doesn't have that guidance with him. Like the people he's around, the his environment is toxic, on, bro. Yeah, the egging it's it on. Like the egging it on. Like, you should be in the club. You should be in the strip club. You should have a gun. Okay, cool. In America, the laws are different. Yeah, if yeah, you're a yeah, star, yeah, yeah. have security. Have a gun, Absolutely. Innit? Exactly. But don't be flashing it around, yeah, innit? Because that'll yeah. get you in big trouble. So just keep that concealed. Like, let your security hold on to that for you. Yeah, yeah, So you're true. calm, innit? Yeah. But he doesn't have that guidance, bro. He's, yeah. like, as you said, he, he's trying to put on this fake persona. He's hanging around with the wrong crowds. He, even with um, when they're playing a the game, like um, when they're playing Golden State, you can see he's trash talking. Trash talking's calm, yeah, trash talking's but he takes it on a whole other level. level. You know, like, exactly. I feel like there's something with the Memphis team because exactly. I feel like they kind of yeah. do take things a bit far. Like even sure. what when Dylan Brooks, Dylan Brooks blew was the kiss, Shannon Sharp, Shannon Sharp, and he blew the kiss. I don't know if you see that he blew a kiss to Chris Paul and no Luke, Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving when they were playing the Mavs. He made right. a free in it. Yeah. I think he made like three, like four frees in a row, yeah, and yeah, then he yeah. blew a kiss to the bench. Like that's calm, innit? Yeah, yeah, because we love to see that. As fans, you want to see yeah, that. Yeah. Talk your shit in it. But, but hey, language, language. Oh my, that's my, my, sorry, sorry, sorry. My <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, there's there's something. Do you know what Memphis needs? Like an either a very experienced coach that will nail them down, For sure. or they need like a Draymond Green. Mm, a leader, they ain't a got a leader. Yeah, they need a, like a Draymond Green, mm-hmm. you know, a KD, a Kyrie, someone, someone who will be there and be like, bro, what are you doing? For Fix sure. up, for sure, man. And it will just get them back on on the right path. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but the thing is though, I'm happy that Jar's going through his um, rehab. Yeah, yeah. Maybe take some time away from basketball. Mm-hmm. I don't even see take the rest of the season off. I'll be exactly. real. I know the whole playoffs and everything, but you're a, you have a young team, so I, there's no, you won't lose too much if you just take the rest of the for season sure. off. You know, focus on himself, get his mentors right, mm-hmm. maybe watch some talks of Kev. Talks of Kev. Hey, maybe watch some talks of Kev. Jamarant, watch this episode. Yeah. On the couch with the real MKS. And then go to, to Kevin's TikTok talks of Kev. Talks of Kev, Kev 150 on TikTok. Listen, there that can give you free game, inspiration. That's it. Just for you to get your mind right. Just and you can lock in. Get his mind right, focus mm-hmm. on being an MKS. Because really and truly, he has like the greatest opportunity. Like, sure. Johnny Man would die to play in the NBA. What? Bro. He's playing in the NBA. He's getting good coin. He's literally getting generational wealth mm-hmm. so you know take time focus on your game focus on your daughter your family yeah for sure and then like just just focus on game bro just focus on ball that's what it is man yeah do you man. know how hard it is to get into the nba like are you i was watching a d rose interview mm. in it and he was just saying how hard it is to get into it's the nba da- it's bro. damn near impossible it's damn near impossible bro so for you to have that opportunity to be in the nba to have that contract that amount of bread that amount of wealth for you just to throw it away by doing hanging around the wrong people, mm. uh, throwing up a gun in a club, like come on, bro, pattern up, man. Yeah, even up, like bro. what a Nike exclusive Nike shoe range, into exactly, bro. Please. Yeah, yeah, John, take time, man. Take That's time. Oh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, around, you, want, you want to talk about uh, gym? Gym, gym. Right, gym. listen, gym, yeah, serious, man. If you're not in the gym, get in the gym. I understand if, like, of course, you ain't got the funds to mm. own yeah. a membership. That's understandable, isn't it? But just work work towards that. Or even if it's doing home workouts, bro. Like mm. walking outside, jogging, running, investing in a bike. Like, bro, just be active because that plays a lot on your mental health. That has so many mental benefits. That Get you your ass in the gym, bro. Get your ass in the gym, man. Get your ass in the get gym. Your ass in the, and I know I ain't been there in a minute, but mm. get your ass there. I'm going to get my ass there too. Bro. I'm just <laughs> in the gym. <laughs> sure, bro. And be consistent. Yeah. Not go gym once a month. Yeah. Be consistent with it. Yeah. Even, like I said, if a gym is, owning a gym membership is too expensive, do home workouts, bro. Sit-ups, push-ups, it's free. Mm. You ain't got to spend no money to do push-ups. Not for real. And everything is accessible. You, t- Bro, I'm telling you, YouTube is a university. You can go bro, on YouTube, right. type in how to do push-ups, how to do planks, or even a, a quick 30-minute video, a quick 30-minute thir- quick workout video. Yeah, Boom, it's that, there for you. Yeah. But what's going on though? Like, why, why you why you ain't been in the gym for a long time? Is it like your schedule's been busy or schedule's mad? Because mm. obviously, the first semester, because like by the time I'd be finished with lectures and take it'd be yeah, one. Yeah. So then by one, I quickly go to the gym next to uni. Mm. By three or half three, I'm done. I'm yeah, home yeah, by yeah, what yeah. five? Can mm. get stuff done. Cool. Now the schedule's a bit more or longer. Chilled, yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, I think at the back end of semester one, going into December, the festive period. 
I was mad ill. Mm. And then when I recovered, it was, it was party time. Ah, so, yeah. you know, I was, I was outside small. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's understandable, man. What it is, though, <clears throat> I would just say, you know, like, just find time in your schedule. Like, if your yeah, schedule yeah, is time, yeah, 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 yeah. find time to go gym. If it's not gym, like I said, home workout. Home workout too, Even yeah. if, like you said, wake up in the morning, get your sleep, sleep early, wake up at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., do a quick workout, mm. shower, get ready to start your day, innit? Yeah. So that will just get you going, like, for you to be active, for you to be moving your body, has so many mental benefits, has so many benefits for your body in general. Yeah, now that period of time when I was going to gym, I think it was what? I think it was three times a week, yeah, sometimes yeah. four. Genuinely, like, I walk into the gym and I'm like, oh, this place stinks, man. Mm-hmm. But then, when I'm walking out, I'm like... Yeah, I mean, you feel like I'm... I'm, 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 I'm him! I'm him! Yeah. Him! Yeah. Him! Him! Yeah. Him! Him! Yeah. Him! 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 Yeah, no, nah, honestly, gym, gym's a great thing. Sure. It's a great thing. It just gives you like time to just lock into yourself and really take you're working on yourself. And then when you start to see progress, like bro, the first time I noticed my weight go down, brother, and that was even the maddest part. The maddest part, yeah, I must have put on one suit. Mm. Charles then feeling a little bit more loose. See when everything fits. And then when I walked downstairs, mum said, "Hey, Mervyn, you look like you have lost weight." I said, <laughs> "What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hey, yo, shorty, shorty. Hey, listen, man. I'm, I'm a tired, B. Mm-hmm. I'm not out here. <laughs> bro, hey, that confidence, hey, bro, it set me to the moon. Listen, bro, if you look hey. good, you feel good, you perform good, bro, in mm-hmm. every aspect of your life. Honestly, it was a great, it was a great thing. So, mm-hmm. honestly, yo, people, get your ass in the gym, bro. Sure, get man. Get your ass in the gym. If it's not, if you don't have enough for a membership, work, home workouts, go on YouTube videos, push up, planks, wall sits. Just be active, be moving, get your body moving. For real. Mm. For real. Alright. Um, I don't know, for about, what, 40 minutes? Cool. Um, what, jerseys? What do you want to talk about? What do you want to touch on? I'm, I'm going to do it. Should I do it? What's that? Should I do it? What's that? Let's talk about broadcasting. Hey! Oh. They set me up. The man named they set me up. <laughs> they put me to come on this episode to spill the tea. <laughs> No, it's not even for the So the episode that we recorded last week that's gonna be coming out this evening. So yeah. as we're recording, releasing, releasing, we're releasing an episode as we're recording. Okay. Um, I spoke about the whole podcast in there. Oh yeah. So yeah, I was yeah. I was airing out my side of it and everything mm-hmm. just to like clear the air as to why there won't be any future seasons of the documentary. Mm-hmm. How are things going in the team right now? Uh, bro, to be honest. It's not looking good. It's not looking good, man. Looking good. This season has just been a whole shambles, a whole mess. Not as bad, but it's it's bad, isn't it? It's mm. bad, and that's just due to, um, of course, Jay. Jay will always be Jay. Like he, yeah, like, man, one man. one time he messed us up. Like we, because it came down to the Silverstone trip, innit? Yeah, yeah. A couple yeah, of yeah, our teammates yeah, were going yeah. to the Silverstone trip. Yeah, yeah. So we asked for him to cancel it because our team's not going to be there. Right. And we didn't have enough members. Mm-hmm. So. He didn't cancel it. Like he made us. I remember, hear, I, heard, I remember hearing about that on yeah. the um, on the coach actually. The yeah. the guys were not happy. Exactly. That's just one thing though. Like that's not entirely our fault. So, mm-hmm. but as a team, like it's just not looking good, man. Like the inconsistency with the lineups, um, players not turning up. Like listen, I'm at fault as well. Like there was two game weeks where um, I turned up late, innit? Yeah. But that's my own doing, and I put my hands up to that. But in general, it's just not looking good, man. Like uh, I think you have to look at it like from outside looking in. We're a team with individual quality, but as a team, we can't play together, bro. Mm. You know when you have a team full of individual stars, like Chelsea, basically. <laughs> as a team, we don't come well together. Like doesn't gel. We don't work well together. Like sometimes when we play, the football's there, the chemistry's there. We're playing well. You know what I mean, we're advancing up the pitch, but just, yeah, man, it's just a whole heap of issues, isn't it? Yeah. It's just not a good season, isn't it? Like, I mean, for me, I would say as the captain, let's end the season strong. Let's finish as far as we can. I mean, and then just forget about it, move on to next season. Yeah. But then again, the inconsistency we see with the lineups, players not turning up. You know what I mean? It's just yeah, man. Yeah. Because the last thing I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm not even like on the thing where I'm here wishing on people's down. Yeah, that's sure, the last sure. thing I do. Mm-hmm. That's not what I do. Genuinely, like I want you guys to succeed, even if I'm not there for it. Like, mm-hmm. I don't really care if, if you win without me. Mm-hmm. But like. To hear these things, and I can't like I touch on some of these things. I'll yeah, say that yeah, yeah. I, 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 when you see the video, you'll see it. I said there's a list of things that will be there if I'm there or not, and it's gonna hold them back. And you actually touched on a few of them. Yeah, so. for sure. Like 
I think maybe one of them was the players not turning up. Yeah. Exactly. Inc- players not turning up. Because one thing I was saying, my whole time there, I promise you, I couldn't give you my, my promised 11. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> he was yeah. never there. <laughs> but yeah, man. But I'm sure, I'm sure it's turn around, though. Hopefully, you know, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, I, we've got like a couple game weeks left. I don't know, but I'm I'm not there next game week because I'm on holiday, you know, so. Shit, where are you flying to, bro? We were touching that, but uh, I'm flying out this Sunday. Vacation? Like, yeah, bro. What? Yeah, 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 listen, bro, come on, man. Catch flight, not feelings. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> nah, no, nah, on the real, yeah, I just need some time off to like, yeah, nah, charge, you, know, like, like, you need that time off. Like, all throughout 2021, 2022, I was working consistently. I yeah. was grinding, I was hustling. I didn't really get time for myself. So this opportunity came, just time off, time to relax. And yeah, recharge. you're, you're to the breakaway. Come on, bro. So yeah, flying out this Sunday, man. Hey. Mm, enjoy, on, man. enjoy man enjoy solo man. trip though come on man oh no no vacation solo trip not yet not yet soon soon soon, 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 soon. I told you I need time for myself bro. Work, 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 a week a week okay. where are you going to uh, Algarve so the south coast of Portugal nice holiday right. destination and the weather is all not too hot not too cold you know what I've been just right Algarve, you know I've been wanting to go to Algarve yeah, yeah man. man but so the reason I wanted to go is different though isn't it yeah, no. bro, bro. Now, whoa, 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 calm down, bro. I was saying Portuguese Grand Prix. Oh, oh, is it? Yeah, they, they were there for two. I don't know if they're racing again now, but Ooh. if they go back, yeah. I might want to go. I know you want to visit that racetrack, innit? Yeah. It's a beautiful track. Beautiful, beautiful track, track, man. Beautiful track. Man. Beautiful track man. Ups, downs, left. Yeah, the yeah, undulation, yeah. yeah. It's literally a roller coaster. It is, man. It's so beautiful. You, you, have you played on the racetrack on the game? On the F1 game? Too oh, cold, bro. On, bro. One of my favourite racetracks. Wait, I remember, wait, the one time you raced it. You were strong. You have to bring that up, bro. <laughs> We're talking about my window. I've got my win. F1? What I've got my win. We did me, you, Randy, J. It was a four man race, bro. Remember my one, just one race, though. Which one? I don't remember. Let me back out the video, man. <laughs> what? I've got the evidence. 4K, bro. 4K. When it comes to me, I've got the evidence, bro. What? I actually took a video. I can't believe it. That's how you know it's rare. <laughs> Red, bro. Remember the, f- the first race we had? I was struggling. <laughs> Remember, you, you just came and you went zoom. Quick overtake, bro. Quick overtake. Melvin, serious, serious driver when it comes to that game, bro. Uh, listen, let, me, let me just flex my time. And the video, saying, bro. And, and you called my driver Congolese. Think I won't forget. <laughs> you called my driver Congolese, bro. Think I won't forget. There's no way. No, bro, your guy looks Congolese. Oh, my days. Let me find the video, man. But yeah, once I find I'm going to flex my time. Obviously, on a league racing team, FH for. FH, Formula BB, five time podium stepper, one time race winner. <laughs> Talking all about across my whole F1 career on the Korean mode team, I've got about 14 more championships. Um, race, race one, I can't count, can't keep count because mm. you know what I'm saying. Me and my bro from Stevens were up there, you get me? We're up there, fam. And then one last flex, um, F1 2021, Silverstone, wet conditions, I had a top 50 time in the world mm-hmm. on PlayStation. Swear let them know. Yeah, let them know. the top 50 time, so. That's it. Oh, I gotta let them know who I am, you feel me? But recently I haven't been on it as much, so I'm not as fast, but ah, when the time comes back and I have time and I can build up again, I'll be quick once again, as usual. You go able to find it or I'm trying to look for it, I don't think I'll, I'll take your word for it though. I'll take it, I'll take your word for it, I'll take your word for it. Bro, I won, bro. I won. I nah, remember you know, that one race. I think that's why I got the thing saying that you're kind of cocky. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, on the podium, innit? On the podium. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we were just waiting for the trophy, innit? Yeah, yeah, this guy yeah. is cocky. You're all dying. You're all dying, bro. Right, we need to run back them sessions, man. Listen, man. Them WWE? WWE? Are you going to cop 2K23 or not? When it's on sale, innit? Yeah, you got to cop bro. Too much cost delivery. When it's on sale, that's like me. When games are on sale, that's when I cop them, bro. If it's a priority, then yeah. But yeah, nah, yeah, man. Yeah. The only game I'm now these days I'll buy and release is the F1 game. F1 Every game, other yeah. game, yeah, I'll wait till like a month before the next game comes out and then I'll mm-hmm. buy it. I'm not buying full price no more. You mad? For sure. It's gonna be 90, 90 pounds for, for not even a disc. Just digital. Pound, bro. I'm paying for a license. The inflation for games is oh. mad. Bro. Have you seen, you play 2K, right? Yeah, yeah. Cost of VC crisis. <sighs> bro, can you imagine this inflation on VC? Uh, inflation uh, on a digital currency. It's crazy. Before yeah, you could have matched about five upgrades to your stats yeah, and mm-hmm. cost you about what? Maybe 2,000 VC. Yeah, yeah. Now doing five upgrades, I'm saying 20,000. I said, what do you mean 20,000? 20, That's crazy, man. Bro. Jeez. Oh, man. There was one last thing I wanted to touch on. Oh, yeah. One last thing, just to wrap up the show. 
Champions League draw. Hey, only right, right, man. It's only right. We're talking right. about competition. I've won twice. Right. Kevin, right. Kevin doesn't know what it's like to win the Champions League, man. Huh? You get me? Listen. All the money laundering they can do, you know, it don't mean that. You get? You can't get all the drug yeah, money you yeah. want. The time will come. The time is now. I know you don't play Chelsea in the final. Hmm? If you don't play Chelsea in the final, then no, we can't play. It's either because you know how the draw went. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah if yeah, we yeah, win, yeah, 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 we yeah. get and you win, we get you in the semis. You so, don't want to yeah. us in the semis though, because I can't. Are you sure? Bro, the revenge though. Revenge tour. Listen. Revenge tour. Mm. That's a revenge tour. Listen, Look once Kula Bali sees Haaland, yeah, it's huh? a rap, isn't it? Kula Bali? Bro, he held, him, he held him down last time, bro. What do you mean, Kula Daddy? <laughs> 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 uh, but um, yeah, Champions League tour. How do you feel about Champions League this year? Um, it feels good, man. I can't, like, there's a good feel. I say this every year, innit, as a City fan. <laughs> but this year, with Haaland up front, I feel we can cook something up. And plus, the other side of the draw, so it looks like if whoever you get in the final, I wouldn't say easy because I don't want to underestimate Bro, any I'll team. I'll tell you this right now. But you rather play you a don't, Benfica. You don't want to buck Napoli. Yeah. You saw sure, buck Napoli, it's a wraps. I can't lie. Listen, no. Kim Min Jae, serious centre back. You see that striker they've got, yeah? Victor Osman. Bro, I knew of you. You see when he started to steep, came on the scene, yeah? Yeah, yeah. In, yeah. in was it 2020, 2019? Mm-hmm. In French League? Yeah. Cropped him. I said, "This guy to the going to the top, to the to the top." I invested stop, bro. You see the stops? You invested stop. Oh, Early twenty nineteen. Now yeah. you see the pockets. Now you see the pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <for> pockets. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "What's it called?" Uh, There's another you on that team. Pronounce his name. Pronounce his name. Kvaratsky. Hey, you see, you see the sauce. Sky, shout out. Hey, you see that Kvaratsky Kvaratsky. Cold, cold. Yeah. Brother, it's actually peakish from Georgia. Because he mm-hmm. will not see no World Cup. <laughs> he will not see it. But, bro, that you can play ball. It's cold, man. It's cold. If you're telling me he has to come up against... Who's your, who's your right back? Kyle Walker, bro. Okay, that's all right. Kyle I'm because he had to buck different actors. Kyle, 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 Kyle Walker's a bit... It's a bit, he can't a bit shaky, isn't it? Because he's, 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 he's not his He's aging, isn't it? He's not his James. But Creek or Lewis, you'll see what I'm going Actually, you know what? I like that. But Rico Lewis. Rico's, like, but Rico's not like a defender. Like He's like an inverted yeah, yeah, yeah. fullback. So when he I'm doesn't want really to defend, like it? Listen, decisions again. But you said Napoli, bro. You saw. Listen, don't bro. underestimate Napoli. They, they're having a fantastic season. Fantastic bro, season, innit? All the teams in Europe, the ones I don't want to buck, Napoli. are Madrid. Mm. You're buck, you bucked Madrid, bro. Yeah, so it's over. It's not over. It's I over. can't lie. I see Chelsea beat Madrid. I see you lot doing a revenge because of what happened last year, innit? Bro, I see you doing a revenge. Can't have it up front. Yes. <laughs> You'll have a one on one and kick to Rosette. <laughs> <laughs> Rosette. Hey. But um, yeah, I'll say Madrid, Munich, and Napoli. Napoli. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna put it out there. I think Napoli could win the whole UCL. You think so? I think if they bark yeah. Madrid, they will call Madrid. Do you think you can win it though? Do you think Chelsea can win? I said from early, we're going for number three. Oh, number three. You're going for number three, bro. Number three, yeah? You're going for number three. You're creating your UCL heritage now, yeah? Absolutely. Because you know how Madrid got their heritage. Chelsea's creating theirs. Yeah, nah. now we're getting number three, bro. Number one's coming. Le, le, M11, le, le, number one what's, is coming. Uh, uno, dos, la tresima, I'll say. We're going for the tresima, man. Listen, let me tell you something. Yeah? Potter's boys in blue. I told her from early. You see, now we've got Potter, yeah? Mm-hmm. Graham Potter will be the first English manager to win the Premier League. I think so. From early, I said it. Nah. I said it, bro. Listen. The London Cowboys, yeah, will <laughs> return. You get me? Today, the beginning of a new <laughs> day. <laughs> the I posted that video of a new time. age <laughs> where the Cowboys will reclaim their name and take the spot among kings. Hey. Hold on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey. We will take our spots amongst kings. Kings, mm. believe it. Mm. We're coming for it all. Arsenal, enjoy your time right now. Because next year, it's going to get peak for you. Yeah? <laughs> I just had to let them know. <laughs> <laughs> let them know, let them know, man. You think you're going to win it, though, yeah? Absolutely. Absolutely, cool. That's that sounds relief. Why are you in there if you don't think you can win it? It's true. I'm not talking to <laughs> I'll say go for it, innit? Because in the league you're like 10th or 9th, innit? But yes. go for it, innit? Yes. Just put all your eggs into one basket. Where's your title charge? Huh? Where's your title charge? Don't worry about it. Hey, Arsenal fans, we coming. <laughs> Close the back door. We coming. Close, Close that, that back door. Close that back door. <laughs> you see what happened yesterday? Kim K was in the stadium. Guys are scoring from the halfway line. <laughs> Around. I don't know. That's where 
Yeah, she, she was there. She was there. I don't know who she was watching. Kim K. I used to say it was Saliba. Saliba. She used to say she was watching Saliba. Bro, come on. Let's deep it. A woman of her caliber is going to watch a Thursday night Europa League she, game she was there to watch Asna. You have all teams. Europa Asna. You you even, even, Champions even Champions League, League bro. League. A woman of her caliber. That's disgraceful. That's disgraceful. Yeah, fam. But I, the Kim K curse lives on. Lives on. Curse. Yeah, bro. You know, there's a curse on her. Anytime she goes to a stadium, her team loses. For real? Yeah, bro. So, oh, man. So she was there and they lost. Yeah. Coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so yeah. I don't, yeah, we're almost at an hour now, so we're gonna yeah, try yeah. out the show. Before we wrap up, on. is there any like songs you wanna put people on? Songs? A song um, or songs? I can't like, you see my playlist is weird, like people won't get it. Like I was listening to the episode last week, innit? Yeah. And um, Sammy mentioned something like like if Sammy was the DJ, people would be confused. Oh, you, you're, you're I'm the like same that. guy. One second it's Lil Dirt, the next second it's, it's, it's Roof B mixed signals. <laughs> <laughs> you even know who that is? <laughs> but I, can see? Only, I can just know from the name. Yeah, yeah I can tell what type of like, music is. Um, music though, music. Let me think, man. Oh, I'll put you on an artist though. A lot of people don't know about this artist. Have you heard of Major Nine? He was an. NFL. Oh, I think I. It's ringing a bell. Major Nine. I'm not seen. Song. I think I've seen it somewhere. Rockefeller, Ready for War. What's Major Nine is definitely. I've seen it somewhere. He's an NFL song. player, innit? Um, what's it? Uh, so NFL player. He he does he does he doesn't play football no more. He makes music now, innit? Mm-hmm. Serious artist, raps about yeah. R and B. He's like a wavy, chilled hip hop guy, innit? it? Yeah. Cold. Yeah, no, so it. underrated. People don't even know about him. Yeah, no, but me, in. I, I can't swear, man. Yeah. man. <laughs> I mess with him heavy, innit? I mess with him heavy. Like yeah. I, got whole, I got a whole playlist dedicated to him. He's cold, man. Yeah. You should check him out. I wouldn't yeah. recommend the song, innit? it. The song probably Rockefeller by him. Uh, Ho song, um, Ready for War, What's Love, Unconditional Love. Like he's, he's got a good roster, you know. He's no, got a good no, roster. No, no, no. Aye, major nine. Major nine. Major mm. nine invest. Um, me. There was two artists that warmed up for Lord Okana. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Wesley Joseph. <sighs> Serious, bro. Mm. Singing, rapping. Mm. That guy, Olivia Dean. She's got a good vibe about her. I can't lie. Okay, she, okay. She's very good. Are these like uh, London artists? Stuff from coming? Or? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I think. Okay, I, think okay. I think. No, I think Wesley Joseph's is from Brown. Brown, is it? Yeah, he's from oh, Brown. Okay. He's from Brown. Um, so yeah, tap into them. And then the song, I mean, it's, it's you know, someone made a comeback. Jadema has made a comeback. Is it? Yeah, Jadema has made a comeback. You know Classic Man guy? No, no, no. Oh, you don't know it? No, no, oh, no. Well, no. It's a song that I've, I, I used to love when I was younger. Classic okay. Man. Okay. Uh, making yeah. a comeback, yeah? He made a comeback. He's got a new okay, tune okay. out. And the name of the song is Blush. So people tap in Jadema, Blush. Mm-hmm. And then obviously Wesley Joseph, Olivia Dean, Major Nine. Um, yeah, that's it today. Kevin, tap it. Hey, big round of applause to you, bro. Thank you for coming bro, along to the show. Thank you, bro. This show is cold. This talk show, about to take off, bro. Lock in. The Real MKS on the couch. Subscribe, like, click that notification, bro. It's about to take Please off, bro. Brother. And also, make sure you check out Kev's TikTok. Um, talk so send the link so I can oh, yeah, add sure, it in the bro. description. And then, um, yeah, make sure you check out Kevin in the description. Mm-hmm. Big shout out to Nathan, as always. Come on, man. G- production. Real guy. Come on, bro. And, um, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, notifications. Drop in the comments anything you want me to talk about or people mm-hmm. you want to see on the show. If you've got something to talk about, shout at me. And if you actually real and know what to talk about, I'll bring you in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once again, thanks for watching. This has been On The Couch. I'm your host, MKS. And I'll catch you on next time. Lock in, man. Lock in. All right, that's it, man. Serious, Good. man. Nice one. Oof.